Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Gnome here. Today we're checking out Melek Reforged Researcher, one of the new Izzet Commanders from Murders at Karlov Manor. And this is going to be my first impressions. The set just released today. So this guy was one of the first commanders that I really want to build. Hits that sweet spot for Izzet decks where it gives you a win con in his ability alone just by having instants and sorceries in the graveyard. And it also gives our instants and sorcery spells cost three less to cast. Well, at least the first one, at least. So if you want to keep playing stuff on each turn, then that's just really, really potent, in my opinion. You can play stuff like Discontinuity on your opponent's turn, where it's going to cost three mana to end the turn. And it's basically an extra turn for you. You can cast Time Warp for two mana. Cast Spell Swindle for two mana. I think it's just a really awesome and fun commander. But without further ado, let's get right into it. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and hopefully you guys enjoy this. Or either Thrill of Possibility or something. So I gotta keep drawing lands. Okay. What does Samwise and another not so creature enters the battlefield create a food token? Put that back to your hand. Yeah, protection. Cause I could get a, uh, a board wipe as well. Let's go ahead and play the temple since we have two mana things to do at instant speed. I'll keep the cavern of souls on top and then we'll decide what we want to do from there. We can throw a possibility. We can discard. I don't know. I don't know what I want to discard. So they play Rishkar again. Yo, what up, Vinny? You back? Maybe Jaya's emulating Inferno. Oh, what? I didn't want to end. Yeah, yeah whatever. Cavern of Souls. Case of the Ransacked Lab. Let's do that. Pass turn. Put a one one counter on Machaeus. They're going to blow up my case of the Ransack Lab. Man. Basic land type. Guess I'll go get steam vents. Alright, we'll go from there. Tinkering with Aurelia. How do you like it so far? Machaeus is, you can remove the one counter on Machaeus. You can remove a one counter from Machaeus, put a one counter on each other creature you control. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. All right. Take three there. Inspiring statuary. We're gonna thrill a possibility. I guess I'll get rid of the man answers. I need my land, I need Jaya's emulating Inferno, and I need solve the equation. <sighs> what they have removal. I play Melek and it gets removed. That's just gonna suck. Or I could play Mind Splice Apparatus at flash speed. You know what? Let's wait to play Melek. So 
So I'm going to flash in Mind Splice Apparatus. Because they're only going to swing with Rishkar and Samwise. I assume. They might, they might swing with Micaeus, but... They don't swing with Micaeus, then. Okay, that's good. It's perfect. It's kind of exactly what I want to happen. All right. End step. We'll flash in my splice apparatus. Chandra with solve the equation is pretty good. Chandra with Jaya's emulating Inferno is even better. But they have Teferi's protection, and that just sucks for us, doesn't it? I do have to put mana into that. Let's play Melek. Jai is emulating Inferno for three, four, five. For five. Actually, go like this. Don't have TP. Don't have TP. And even if they put an extra counter on everything, we still get through. That's why I didn't target Micaeus, because we just put a counter on Micaeus, so it doesn't matter. And Melek becomes an 8-egg, so he can't really swing at us with Micaeus. Alright. I hope they don't draw any removal. Even if they do, we have Mind Splice Apparatus, so it's not the end of the world. Our Instance and Sorcery will cost two less. But now, right now, uh, ooh, Grand Cenobite. Uh, I can't. I'm not gonna block that. Go fetch a land. Yeah, go fetch a blue. Right, let's do this. It's gonna be bonkers. This war ends today. Solve the equation. This gets copied. Let's give it our all. Oh, if I had one more blue. I could send back the Elish Norn with the commit. Let's get that. And then let's get, uh... Let's, let's get Vile Duplication. Then we're gonna plus two. Oh yeah, I had the mana from Chandra, so that actually would have worked out. Give us two Melix. And then we'll pass the turn. So we can actually copy copy the commit twice so we get rid of Micaeus and we get rid of Elish Norn and then we swing next turn we should be able to win unless they have a board wipe 
Which if they did, they wouldn't play Samwise. Ooh. That's a good one. I think it's sort of Mind Splice Apparatus. Alright, so we're going to play this. Send that back. We're going to send this back. That kind of sucks for us. But we have a 14-14 flyer. I don't want to use the memory since it shuffles our graveyard back into the deck. They can still block though, the game's not over. But we do have advantage. X to oh, okay. Okay, okay. Oh. I guess that just wins, doesn't it? <laughs> it's like Lana Bird just wins. GG's. This deck is so much fun. If if I can if I can get if you can get Melek to stick, this deck is just a blast. <laughs> Last group girl. So what do we do? This this is like a super controlly deck, which I kind of feel bad playing it against Bubba. But um, we'll see we'll we'll see how how it goes. Melek can easily be removed, so. It's not like total, total annoyance. Light belly rats. That's a uh, fact. Yeah. Blood moon really doesn't do anything, but it's really all we can, all we want to do here. Blood Moon really doesn't have an effect against Monocolor deck, so. It might hose me more than it hoses him. Yogmoth. Yogmoth can, uh. proliferate. Which is pretty bad. I think we might just need to island cycle that. Yeah, Blood Moon hoses me more than him. I don't even know why I played it. My turn. Alright, let's island cycle this. Volja cares about wolves, not werewolves, and of course elves. Yeah. Wolves and elves is a very odd combo, but it works so well with Volja. Play Malik, it dies. What else we got to lose? The other thing about Malik is that you have to have a uh, creature in the. I mean, you have to have an instant or sorcery in the graveyard. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Just, re just get, just it getting removed. Nope. 
non alchemy bowmasters hits different. Yeah, dude. Bowmasters is such a powerhouse. What are they? What are they thinking when they made this card? I think I just lose. I lose because of Blood Moon. No, not 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 necessarily. But I can't play my discontinuity here. Spell swindle that. Gives me a lot of mana, but what am I going to do with it? Uh... Melek, and then I... And then I, uh, discontinuity next turn. Let's try it. We go down to four treasures. We could file duplication and then on their turn, we play discontinuity. It's going to be three blue mana, which is going to use all my treasures. Let's try. <laughs> See what shenanigans we get into here. It's gonna sack the whole board. <gasps> no. I could end the turn, but no, that's just gonna. Ah, man. I guess I didn't think about that. Talking about is so annoying. Yeah, I guess I'm just dead anyway then. Oh, Bubba. You didn't allow me to have fun. Yeah, that was... My game plan screwed up there. I forgot about the uh, ability on Yagma. God damn it. God damn Yagma. Growing up, my damn plan. What in the actual fuck is going on here? Uh, and look at this hand. What is this? I don't I don't think I put the uh I don't think I put the lands in here. I'm gonna keep this. Just because I have the arcane signet. But wow. Arena UI has been really buggy. Yeah, people were saying that's why they should have had the early the early access. The early access gives gives creators or gives the devs a chance to um, work on all the bugs throughout the weekend before the set actually releases on Arena. So I just don't think they had the personnel to do early access. So yeah, bug, that shit's gonna be buggy as hell. What is this, Gruel Golos? Alright, I'll discard the Whelming Wave. What is what is, what is this? What is what is really going on here? Okay, this might be this might be budget Golos. I've got a fill in. I got a fill in. We might have a counter spell. I'm not going to do that. Very triumph. 
Yeah, that is the... That is the dilemma we face with Melek, isn't it? Very easy to remove. I wish Melek would have had Ward instead of Kylox. Hmm. Finally a blue source. And the Ghost Banner Dragon, if we target it, it creates more treasures. I'm just going to play out Melek again. Probably not the smartest play, but... Here comes Golos. One, two, three, four. They can't activate the ability yet. With them swinging, we give them six mana. So I play Time Warp next turn. Get a card in the graveyard. Play Fading Hope on Golos. Oh. I hope they don't counter this. Yeah, let's play Time Warp. And we're gonna Chaos Warp. Protection spell. All right. Not bad. Yeah, it, it really should have ward. Would make it so much better. Well, if I fading hope, I think I can. Uh... Simulating Gyre for four. Oh, big score. Big score, good. Let's get rid of Fading Hope. Make Melika 10 10. Yeah, this is. This is what I wanted to do. Let's play the Emulating Gyre. Kill the gold span, kill the Golos. Maybe this is why it's, this is going against Golos. And then I think... Play Treasure Cruise, I don't know if I delve then I'll get rid of everything in the grave, right? Yeah. It's unfortunate, I wanted to get one more card in the graveyard. Maybe I should have played Boral there. That was a pretty nutty turn by us. ECD. One, two, three, four. Gigantha. So I think I Mizzix's Mastery. In hopes of hitting something sweet. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do this. Overload the Mizzix's Mastery. Don't have a one mana counter spell, please. Alright, we're gonna big score. Get rid of in the festivities. That's fading hope. Got a chaos warp. We're gonna time warp. We win just by that time warp, actually. <laughs> I just realized that. <laughs> Get out of here, Golos. I think we need to mulligan. 
Do I not have... I'm like, do I not have ramp cards in this deck? It's like, what the hell's going on there? Yeah, so that's why the, the thing about Kylox, that's what makes it hard to build around. Since you don't really have a lot of creature tokens that can be mana dorks. Kylox is 7 mana too, so super mana intensive. Yeah, see, so ex exactly. You, you just you can just whiff with Kylox, and you don't get anything. That's the problem. We'll go blue there. Priest of Forgotten Gods. Go red. Play the Midnight Clock. Melek is Melek. Melek dies uh, with there's no instance or sorceries in the graveyard, so playing it with no instance or sorceries in the graveyard is going to mean right back to the command zone. Alright, we gotta, we gotta draw something. Oh my goodness, I'm flooding now. Fester Leech. Interesting. Oh my gosh. What's going on here? Just give me something, Lord. Demonic Tutor? Or Day of Judgment? The Monitor seems more fun. Seems like a Narset, but harder to build around. Probably, yeah, I can definitely see that. Zulaport Cutthroat. Maybe I should have got the Day of Judgment. That might be my downfall. <laughs> I mean, I can still get it with a Demonic Tutor, though. So I guess Demonic Tutor is better. Glad he didn't have that when Melek was out. That would have been bad. Oh my goodness. Can I get something other than a uh, land here? What's really going on? What do I want to get? Mind Splice Apparatus is fun. Doesn't really do anything for me though. I need something that's going to help me draw. I guess... Uh, that Chandra's really good, but... I don't have... I need... They have a... Big board state. I guess we'll do practical research. I really don't want to rely on the ring to draw. Since, uh... That killed us last time. Ugh. I needed something else. I don't know if that was the right target for Demonic Tutor. Maybe... 
Did I say earlier I can go get Day of Judgment with the Demonic Tutor? I thought I was still playing the Mono White Commander. <laughs> Ooh, Raska. Proliferate the ring. That's pretty sweet. I'm gonna proliferate the midnight clock too, buddy. Why not swing with a Zulu for cut through? Very strange. Very strange there, Bubba. I don't want to draw anymore with the ring. Don't have a lot of life gain with this deck either. Uh, let's do this. Well, if I play Melek, then they can just sack the priest. So that's no good. Let's do this. Let's play Raal. And let's do this. This kind of helps us. We're going to sack the whole board state. But... One, two, three, four, five... Yeah, so we'll do this. X equals five. One, two, three. I can play the solve the equation next turn. We lose two life. I still get to copy the Jaya's emulating Inferno. And we'll go from there. Kill the Braska in the process. I think I'm going to grab a braid with the solve the equation. Get rid of the one ring. Oh, but I got the midnight clock triggering next turn. I'm not going to, I'm not going to be able to get the braid. Oh, come on. Ah. Uh. This deck is just too slow. I, I need I need more interaction early game. Or I think for it to be viable. <sighs> Didn't even get a chance to get the midnight clock off. That's rough. Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah. 